Do I think that vaccines caused my daughter's autism? No, but you know what I think did? Marrying and having babies with a man who could remember full algorithms like pages worth, but not the name of anybody he's met in the past year. That video, it's funny because of the way she says this, but it also says something deeper then maybe what we're calling a rise in autism isn't actually a rise, it's a shift in awareness. And yes, her husband likely has characteristics of autism that she's describing, which is why her child does too. That's not rare. Autism tends to run in families and many adults have gone undiagnosed their entire lives. So that quirky uncle who is fixated on his train collection, only eats three specific foods and knows every single fact about World War II could actually be autistic but never knew it due to lack of awareness. According to the CDC's Autism and Developmental Disabilities Monitoring Network's 2022 data, one in 31 children aged eight were identified with autism. To give you context, in 2018, the rate was one in 44, in 2020, it was one in 36. Now in 2022, it's one in 31. But it doesn't mean more kids suddenly have autism. It means we've improved how we recognize it. There's a quote I love that explains this perfectly. In the last few decades, we've discovered thousands of planets outside our solar system. They didn't suddenly appear. We just got better at seeing them. No one called it an exoplanet epidemic. We said, look what we've been missing. Autism is the same. It's not new. It's newly recognized. Here are other findings of the report. Rates vary by state. In California, autism was identified in one in 19 children in some regions. In Laredo, Texas, it was one in 103. But that doesn't mean there's something in the water in California. It means states like California have better screening, services, and specialists, so families are more likely to seek and receive a diagnosis. In contrast, lower rates may reflect missed cases, stigma, or less access to diagnoses. This growing awareness and destigmatization is happening on both sides. Parents are more aware of the signs and feel empowered to seek answers and advocate. And clinicians are more prepared and more willing to make the diagnosis so that children can get early intervention. This is progress. And when we shift the conversation from fear to understanding, more kids get seen, supported, and celebrated for who they are. We're also identifying autism earlier. Children born in 2018 were 1.7 times more likely to be diagnosed by the age of four compared to those born in 2014. That's a big deal. Earlier diagnosis means earlier support and better long-term outcomes. And even though the COVID-19 pandemic caused a temporary drop in evaluations during 2020, this was likely due to lack of ability to see clinicians, due to shutdown orders, the overall trend still shows we're catching autism earlier than ever before. When it comes to boys and girls, autism is still more common in boys with a male to female ratio of 3.4 to 1. But it's important to note that girls are still underdiagnosed, often because their symptoms can look different or be masked. Now, here's what really was interesting to me. For the first time, Asian, Black, Hispanic, Native American, and multiracial children had higher autism prevalence than white children. That's a reversal from earlier years and likely reflects better outreach and diagnoses in communities that were historically underserved. However, children of color, especially Black and Native American children, were more likely to also have an intellectual disability when diagnosed. That may mean that they're still being caught later only once their challenges have become more severe, like in a school setting. So what does all of this mean? More kids are being diagnosed, especially kids who were once overlooked. We're doing better at diagnosing earlier. We're improving access for underserved communities, but we're not quite there yet. Higher rates in some states likely reflects better systems, less stigma for parents seeking evaluations and more awareness of signs, not necessarily something in that state. And the rise we're seeing is likely the result of recognition, not an epidemic. Autism has always been here. And just like those exoplanets, we're finally learning how to see it. See below for more.